Good morning, Dudong. Kung sa tulog mo, may good news ako sa'yo. Alam mo ba na hindi lang buhok mo ang bagsak? Bagsak ka rin sa physics! But mom, it's so early in the morning. Early? Tanghali na! Bumangon ka na at maganda. I'm in trouble. The teacher called my mother this morning and she was fuming with anger since I got failing grades. Well, the teacher tawag tawag to my mom too and guess what? We're on the same page. She was so galat that she only gave Kalahate my allowance this week. Super idol the show room do me the tin by Joe the young boy do me me Good morning, class. Good morning, ma'am. I am certain that all of you have heard the unfortunate news. As a solution, the school has formulated a game. This will be called Newton X Game. The student who will survive and win this game will have the opportunity to change his or her grade in physics. Yes! There is nothing to celebrate with this news. You should work for it. Only those students who are worthy and deserving will be able to have that chance. The first game will happen in this classroom. Bring out your lengthless sheet of paper. We will have a long assessment. If any of you will be caught for cheating, you will be eliminated. Okay, start answering the questions.
students 007 you are eliminated Lincoln's first law of motion states that an object at rest stays at rest unless an external force acts upon the object. Student 007 was the object at rest, while student 004 was the external force causing student 007 to be disturbed. The situation earlier was an example of the first law, causing student 007 to be eliminated in the Newton X B. Wait, I have an idea. First law of motion also states that an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In this scenario, the eraser was in motion, but then student OOP stopped it by her shoe, thus causing the eraser to be out of motion. We've been observing your relationship with each other. Therefore, our activity for today will be done in pairs. The game will be called Marble Parble, and it will include players aiming at group marbles inside a circle and flicking the marble with their fingertips. Anything they strike outside the circle is theirs. The game is won by whoever collects the most marbles. Players can also win the game by knocking out their opponents by hitting their opponent's marble. Please proceed to the gym area. Now! Excited na ako sa gagawin natin? Yes, me too. I hope na manalo tayo. Tara na, magsisimula na. Newton's second law of motion states that the acceleration of an object is dependent upon two variables. The net force acting upon an object and the mass of an object. The same logic can be applied between any moving object such as two individuals walking together. If one of them weighs less than the other while exerting the same amount of force, the person weighing less will move quicker since their acceleration is certainly greater because when more force is applied, the mass accelerates faster into the direction of the applied force. Ready gonna para matalo? Because I will win. <laughs> Well, huh. Tignan lang natin. The amount of force exerted by the player when flicking determines the acceleration of the marble outside the circle during the game. When the outer marble approaches the inner marbles, the impact between the two scatters the marbles inside the circle and occasionally. And if lucky, pushes them outside the circle and making it theirs. This situation is also an example of Newton's second law of motion. Player 016 eliminated. Yes! Nanalo ako! You weak! Ha ha ha! You cheated! You're the loser! Why naman ganun? We played fair and square. No! You're lying! Guys, stop fighting with you. Laro lang naman to. Have some sportsmanship, people. Ano ba guys? Huwag kayong mag-away. Laro lang ito. May mananalo at may matatalo.
you had previously played individually by pair and now you will play as a group in this game known as tug of war strengths will be displayed in tactics and hands each group will have five members and the goal of pulling the flat flag positioned in the center to the winning side it's clear that the other team is stronger than us you're right this is nerve-wracking ayoko matalo i'm always on the winning team that is why we need to outsmart them huh Kulang ang ating kalamang kung paano natin ito ipapanalo. At given the fact that this game is all about strength, we are digging our own grave. Kumalma kayo at makinig. As I noticed in the game earlier, this is all related to our quiz about Newton's law of motion. But I haven't understood a thing. Mababaliw na ako kakaisip dun. That is why you need to listen. Kaya itong gagawin natin. As stated in the quiz paper, Newton's third law is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. It states that when two bodies interact, they apply forces that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to one another. The third law is also known as the action-reaction law. The rope is used to transfer forces in this game. The action force is the first team to tug generating the pull on the rope as the suspense force. The opposing team's rope and feels the pull. This is second action force if the second team initiates a pull. Knowing they had strength in them, outsmarting them will mean us being the stronger team. We only need a good strategy and teamwork. The person in the front should be aware of how the opposing team performs, while the one at the back of the rope should be stronger and reliable. To ensure balance, the team should be organized in pairs, one to the left and one to the right. Both feet are facing forward and ropes on the armpits. Use all of your strength to keep the ground secure for at least 10 seconds. Lie on your back until the opposing team's rhythm breaks, then pull with all your might. Team Spicy Eliminated You've got to be kidding me. It's not the end. Yet? 